Okay, here we are, Matthew Russell Lee, Inner City Press, here in Foley Square. It's Friday, September 8th, 2023, and we're covering the courts. We're going to now report about Sam Beckman Freed. Sam Beckman Freed, yesterday, his co defendant, now co defendant, everyone was waiting to hear when Ryan Salem, that's how it's said, Salem, spelled with an E on the end, when Ryan Salem, the designated GOP donor of FTX, among other things, restaurateur in Massachusetts, uh, would be arrested and maybe turn into a cooperator. Well, it doesn't seem he is a cooperator. It emerged that he was going to come and plead guilty at three. Yours truly tracked him around through the courthouse. There he was in pretrial services, I guess, filling out his affidavit for his bond. Uh, there he was hanging around with the, in the marshals just to try to stay out of the public eye. But we found him. And at three o'clock, there he was in front of Judge Kaplan in a, in a, in a scripted but st- still interesting um, uh, plea proceeding in which he pled guilty, was released on bond. He's giving up essentially six million uh, in forfeiture, some restitution, five million some to the FTX people. Now, some people reported that he's actually forfeiting 1.5 billion. I don't think that's true. I think that that's DOJ put out this big number and was like, if he doesn't pay the six, he could be on the on the on the hook for the whole 1.5 billion. Somehow, I don't think he has that, and I think it, the whole thing was based on an affidavit, which is not public, but. That's the thing. So you can read it. We, we reported it in, in great detail and pursued him to his black car as he drove away. He didn't answer. Why, if he thinks SBF should also be charged with campaign finance uh, contributions? You see, he's the GOP donor, but SBF was the Democrat donor, also the, the effective altruism guy. Well, SBF had a deadline, a hard deadline yesterday to ask to, to move his trial from October 3rd, and he didn't do it. So October 3, we'll be here day by day. Also, October 3, on the other side of the street, um, Trump org trial. So it should be interesting. But before then, there's going to be a UN General Assembly, and we've asked to cover it. June 19th, we wrote to Melissa Fleming of Antonio Guterres and said, we cover the UN, let us in. Still no answer. Dennis Francis, the PGA, still no action. We will not rest. Watch this space. InnerCityPress.com.